That is Mark Anzalone. And starting scratch, Colby Fournier in the number 57. The propane machine, and we are underway. Ryan Vaness leads the pack down the back straightaway. Set sail at the top. Look at the Toyota body machine of John Dickerman. Close in the gap. Takes a look to the inside. And Dickerman looks for the lead off of turn number two. Vaness, who had uh, opened up a little bit of an advantage, so that go away quickly as now they roll off the set fourth corner to complete the second lap. It is the Toyota that's on the field. Here at the action track lead. Vaness slides up the racetrack, gets a little bit crossed up gathers it back in as Kevin Casper takes a look down to the inside. Denny Snaffle sits in number four spot as he tries to go all the way up to the top three. Frank Dickett rounds out the top five. Mark Anzalone, Bob Hussey, and Colby Fournier round out the field. John Durkin out the run by two lengths off the corners. The field has strung itself out around the third mile. Kevin Casper not able to gather it back in. Looks like he just got that rolling where he needed it to be. As they roll off of turn number four, six down, six to go. And it is the first of Dickerman continuing to hold on at the top of the field. Kevin Casper sits third. He's got a hands full look at the 88. Look at the 02 of Denny Stample. Close in on the back bumper. Takes a look, but settles in and back behind. Look, the deep in the pack, the 80 of Bob Hussey got all sorts of loose off the second. That's clicking away as the late models running into the file. Trying to get a run. Ooh, Hussey gets crossed up again as he got up in the speedy drive down at the back of the field. Passes it back in. Twin sticks out, two more circuits around. John Dickerman trying to pick up the win and qualify number one. The Dennis K. Burke, number 13. White flag out, one more circuit around. Colby Foyner and Bob Hussey going at it at the tail end of the field. Give the advantage to Hussey down at the final time off the second corner. Vanessa's closed in on the 13. Can he make a move on the final circuit? Takes a look to the inside off of turn number four, but the 13 of Dickerman's able to hold him off, and John sits in the win. Second place going to Vanessa with the 88 of Kevin Casper, third, fourth, the 0 2 of Denny Stamper, with the 0 3 of Frank Duquette rounding out the top five, the 0 1 of Mark Yans alone, the 80 of Bob Hussey, and the 57 of Colby Fournier rounding out the field in round number one. It is Randy Burr. Car number 20 rolls off next. That is Matt Bro out of a cushion and mass. And the 41 of Al Clements, the fourth. And I don't think Josh was too happy with that. No, he wasn't. There's the yellow flag. So Jerry just a bit quick on the trigger. And they call this one back. Starting scratch, car number 41, two-time street stock champion, Albie Clements. Al Clements just throws them loose and gets them going. Looking for the green one more time off of turn number four. And again, oh, this one's good. 47 of Bernard did not come up to speed. No, it is 0 for 2. 0 for 2 on that one. Jerry just a little bit touchy on the trigger finger. And getting the final warning from the officials of Bill Bernard and the seven of Kyle Casper now to the outside of the front row. The 87 of Mike Cavallero, the 22 of Tyler Thompson, the 32 of Randy Burr, the 20 of Matt Bro. Now you wait for the green, that's a good one. And Kyle Casper gets the jump and leads the pack down into turn number three. Off the corner they come, Bernard. Number two spot. Look at the 87 of Mike Cavalera work the inside. Tyler, you could hear that car backfiring as it came down or missing something not right in the behind underneath the hood of that white number 22. Diego Sperry working the outside lane. 
takes it to the outside of Randy Byrne, now tries the outside of Tyler Thompson. Thompson slid right up the racetrack, slows up the momentum of your reigning champion. Kyle Casper sets the pace, Bernard sits second, with Mike Cavallero third, Thompson trying to hold on a fourth as he holds off the 32 and the 71 off the second corner. Tegas Barry taking his time, trying to get back up to the front, taking it easy as he works that outside lane of the number 22. Thompson working down low, car fast enough to be there, but you can tell that the 32 and the 71 are both just a tick faster at the way they're running their lines. Matt Bro heading to the pits as he's got a problem in that number 20. And they roll off the fourth corner. Six down, six to go. And it is Kyle Casper out front by a half or straightaway. Battle for second continues. The 47 of Bill Bernard trying to hold off the 87 of Mike Cavallero. Cavallero takes a look to the outside and settles back in off the second corner. Randy Burr and Jerry DeGasperi having their hands full trying to get around the 22 of Kyle Tyler Thompson with the 41 of Albie Clements the third right behind. Jerry now evens up with the 22 off the second corner trying to get the run as they are struggling deep in the field. Two flags to go, two laps to go for Kyle Casper who has opened up a tremendous lead and is starting to pull, is, continues to pull away in this qualifier. Mike Cavalier to the outside of Bill Bernard in the battle for second as they roll down into three and four. White flag is out, keep an eye on that battle for second. Cavalier working up high, Bernard down low. And Tyler Thompson gets hit from behind, he goes around in the middle of one and two, but the checkered flag is out. as the seven of Kyle Casper picks up the win there. And the 22 of Tyler Thompson going around off of turn number three, two on that final lap and uh, he was tough to get. Debut, the K Spencer electric propane plus machine and the 20 of Matt Bro rounding up the field. We are underway late model style. Coming off a of turn number four to complete lap number one, Kevin Casper sets the pace. I tries to hang on. Dickerman, he has been fast all practice long. Looking to open up 2009 in victory lane. Off the corner they come, battle for third. Bernard up on the outside. You know, then Kyle Casper tries to hang on as Randy Burr tries to get a run to the inside, but Casper is able to shut the door. Up front, Kevin Casper sets pace. Ryan Vaness gives him a little tap off the front. Rides up on the outside of the lane. Vaness trying to make it three in a row. He picked up the last two wins in 2008, including the DAV Fall Classic, trying to open up the season in victory lane. Across the stripe, they come. Casper, that's the second ahead down the back stretch the Chevy up on the outside as Mark Anzalone slow down the back straightaway oh Tyler Thompson gets into him Anzalone goes to right track on turn number four turn number three and it looks like he's going to bring up the first caution with four laps complete so Anzalone having problems early on as he and Tyler Thompson got together down the back straightaway and we're into yellow with four laps complete Anzalone will fall in at the tail end of the field. Four down, 26 to go. Kevin Casper and Ryan Vanessa at the top of the field looking to roll off of turn number four. Up on the throttle they come. There's a green and we're back underway. Kevin Casper the Toyota. And Ryan Vanessa and the Chevrolet battle side by side. Look at John Dickerman down to the inside. Dickerman making a three wide. Yeah, ran out of room. Backed off, smart move there early on. Kyle Casper trying to put the Somerset credit union machine down to the inside. Trouble, oh, Kevin gets sideways, saves it, great save by Casper, but here comes little brother down to the inside. Off the corner they come. Ryan Vanessa sets the pace, and it's a dog on back. Look at Kyle Casper trying to work his way by Dickerman 
and Kevin Casper behind them. They've got Randy Burr, Mike Cavallaro, and Jerry DiGasparri. DiGasparri down to the inside of Randy Burr. Squeezes on by up inside the top six. A lot of fighting going on down the back straightaways. They all look for possession. The only one not fighting is the one pulling away. The rocket out of the top of the field. Ryan Vaness by over a second above Kevin Casper. Now Kyle Casper is third. Dickerman falls back to fourth, and Degas Barry rounds out the top five. Casper is sixth, Burr is seventh, Bernard is eighth, Casper ninth. You've got the zero three up on the outside. That's Frank Duquette and Tyler Thompson down on the inside. That's the battle for ninth and tenth off of turn number four. New look for him with the black feathers and the flames on that number 20 as he's up into 11th spot. Off the corner they come, trying to swing themselves out. And as he's stepped out almost two full seconds ahead of the rest of the field. We'll look at the battle for second, third, and fourth. Kevin Casper is in second. Got Kyle Casper all over the back row. They're taking a look to the inside. Kevin takes the hold on that car. is Lucy Goosey. See him seesawing back and forth on the steering wheel in that number 88 as he comes off the corner. The red, white, and purple number 88. Kyle Casper takes a look up to the outside. Trying to get by his brother out of the top of the field to see if he has anything for fellow pro stock rookie Ryan Vanessa. Off the board for this up, Kevin Casper trying to hang on. John Dixon looking for a way through. We saw him a few times, and again he looks three low, but doesn't have enough there to make the cut. Cross flags, 15 down, 15 to go. Vanessa over two and a half seconds ahead now of Kyle Casper. Make it three seconds from first to second. Kyle Casper works the outside, finds himself second on the field now, trying to hunt down Ryan Vanessa. Jerry Degas finally slides up to the outside. Look at Mike Cavallaro trying to work his way to the front in his first career late model points event. Down the back straightaway, Degas Barry winds up the Spumoni's restaurant Chevy. Up in the third, Kevin Casper gets crossed up, trying to hang on. Bill Bernard's got to back off the throttle. He settles it back behind, but they both lose a lot of momentum. Down off of turn number four, Ryan Vanessa. Let's see how much of a distance he's opened up. Trouble for Cavallaro, though. Up in turn number three, he goes around at the Gateway Auto Sales Machine. Brings out the second yellow at lap number 18. I'll tell you what, Kyle Casper was hoping for something because he thinks he may have something for that rocket. <laughs> John Dickerman, the 88 of Kevin Casper, round out the fi top five. Six will be Bill Bernard with Randy Burr, Tyler Thompson, your top eight. Green flag is out. And Matt Rowe, your top ten. Off the corner they come. Look at the run that Kyle Casper has on the outside of the front row. Off the corner they come. Wheel to wheel down to the stripe. In the advantage to Ryan by 9,000 of the second. The second corner, though, Kyle seems a little bit stronger. Look at Dickerman to the inside of Degas Barry. He's got the run there. They touch into the corner. Can they hang on? They do. What a great job of hanging on by the youngster out of Weymouth, Mass. John slides back, loses a whole bunch of momentum, but able to gather it back in. Ten to go this time by. Ryan Vaness out front. Kyle Castle second. Jerry Degas Barry sits third. Battle for fourth side by side. Kevin Casper down low. He gets the advantage over Dickerman as Dickerman slides back just a little bit. Bill Bernard down to the top, looking to take that spot away. Meanwhile, deep in the back, Mike Cavalier trying to work his way back up through the grid. He was up inside the top 10, very close to the top five before that spin just a handful of laps ago. John Dickerman couldn't get it done on the outside. Now slides up to the inside. He and Kevin Casper make a little bit of contact off return of number two. Casper is able to hang on. Look at Dickerman get caught up. Here comes Bernard down to the inside. Bernard's going to back off the throttle as Dickerman settles for the game. 23 laps up on the board. Here comes the 71 of Jerry Degas Barry up to the outside group. Takes a look to the outside. Kyle Casper slides off the corner. Back to the side just a little bit, but not enough to slow him down. They are losing momentum and distance between them and Ryan Vanessa. Degas Barry to the outside. Off the corner they come. There are five laps to go. 
Cass Vanessa. Taking up over a second, 1.1 seconds ahead of the rest of the field. Degas Barry trying to pick up the top two here this afternoon. Remember the battle between Degas Barry and Casper back at the DAV Fall Classic. You know there's not going to be any love lost between Degas Barry and Casper. Off the corner they come. Degas Barry still trying to wind it up, but Casper keeping him at bay. Off of four they come. Vanessa up front. Now it's going to be 1.6 seconds between he and second place. Lap two winding down. Three to go this time by. Look at the fight deep in the pack between Matt Bro, Randy Byrne, Mark Anzalone. Those three cars are going at it as they come off of turn number four. Look at the battle. Degas Barry up to the outside of Kyle Casper. Battle for second off of turn number two. White flag unfurls. Vanessa out front by two seconds. Battle up to the stripe. Give Degas Barry the number two spot. But will they be able to hold on for the final third of the mile? Casper back down to the inside, side by side, down into three and four. Ryan Vaness will pick up the opening day win. Battle for a second. Casper and Degas Barry. Degas Barry goes around. Casper finishes second. Kevin for third. John Dickerman and Bill Bernard rounding out the top five. We told you there was no love lost and there was no room to give at the end as they came off of four. He was where he needed to be before the fireworks came out. Picking up three in a row in the late model division, including the last points night of 2008, the DAV Fall Classic, and 2009 opening day, running double duty in 2009, trying to become the first driver, I think, ever, maybe not, to win two races in the same night in two different divisions. We'll see what he can do in the 75 lapper, but he's got this late model hanging tight. It was quick as we'll give Ryan a chance. He's got the helmet off. And a rocket he was tonight in the Team V Transport a a Auto Parts number 11. Big round of applause for the rocket man, Ryan Vaness. Ryan, congratulations. This car looked real good out there tonight. Yeah, she was a missile. She was a missile. Those Team V guys, they make me look good. They really do. I couldn't do it without them. You've had a very exciting last five weeks. You got a brand new baby girl at home. You got a trophy to bring home to her on opening night. How's it feel, man? Feels awesome. This one goes out to my new little girl. She told me I could weave tonight, but I had to win. So uh, we're trying to live up to our end of the bargain here. So that's two Team V cars in victory lane so far. We got two more to go tonight. Hopefully, we can go straight for four. Well, good luck. Go get ready for your 75 lap. I know you got some people you need to thank. Really got to thank my sponsors. They're the ones that make this possible. Team V Transport, NA Auto Parts, been helping us out a lot this year. Uh, Who Motorsports, my family, my friends, my parents. Again, my, my guys, Mike Manass, Nick Urig, they make me look good. They really do. And uh, it's good to see what this car can do with four, uh, four tires on it. Well, congratulations. Picking up the extra 100 from Phil's Propane, an extra $45 worth of fuels from Sunoco Race Fuels, the Rocket, Ryan Vaness in victory lane. 